All right, what's up guys? Back from vacation, back at it. I've got to help her one more time this summer. We are pre-tripping this trailer. Uh, so we've got her, I can't flip the camera around. So we've checked out the struts, make sure they're working. I almost pointed at them. Check the tires while they're up. Seals. And then, uh, you know, let this young man put the seal on. We got a, we got a uh, skid steer we're taking up to Michigan. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put that seal between them, twist it all the way through them. That way we can check our load. Actually, go ahead and put it on there because this one ain't gonna move because it's a skid steer. But plug it right in there. I'm gonna make a trucker out of you yet. But uh, we're just doing pre trip. It's already like 98 degrees or 96 degrees, whatever it is. But, uh, checking lights. Uh, put your hand, see if that light's working on the tag here, buddy. Tag light. Yep. Look under there. See. Yeah, it's working. Yep. Okay, good. So we're doing pre-trip. About to get out of here. Going to roll up to Michigan. And uh, we'll update you later. Take care. Hey, what's up guys? We had a little bit of change of plans, sort of. Uh, we were supposed to take this all the way up to Bridgeport, Michigan. And uh, then we had a pre-plan to pick up a load. And as soon as Carmina gets done talking. Um, we had a pre-plan to pick up a load in Plymouth, Michigan. But that change we're going to drop this trailer in Plymouth Michigan and pick up our load and someone else is going to carry it this way up to Bridgeport so I've got about two two hours or so left on the clock so I'm going to do this little drop and hook and we're going to get back down look at him stretching his neck like a giraffe over there to be in the video but, um Yeah, so I'm going to do this little drop and hook, and we're going to book on down the road and see how far we can get. Probably just, I'll probably just go back down to Ottawa Lake. That at least knocks about 50 miles or so off, of, off the load or off the run tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see where we're at when we get down there. That's the update for now. Well, what's up, guys? been a minute since we did an update this is weird I'm using the GoPro so there's like a delay on the screen anyway there was yet another change of plans we took uh, we grabbed that load that was supposed to be going to Reading PA Uh, we had a load that was going from Plymouth, Michigan to Reading, PA. We ended up stopping there, or staying at Plymouth for the night. And uh, kind of a good thing we did. The next morning they had us meet someone and swap trailers over near Cleveland. And we brought that empty over to Middleville. Picked up another load that is going to, where are we going? Wisconsin, Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and Appleton, Wisconsin. So once again, I planned on getting a couple hours down the road, but instead we spent the night and now that's going on. So we had a couple tires that were bad, so we're getting those replaced and last night really last night we went to we had to go over to pace trailer because the abs light was on so they changed a couple of sensors on that last night so just waiting on these tires to get done and we'll get rolling that's your update for now and we will see you guys later right yeah see ya what's up guys it is Friday morning, right? The 30th, 
that I'm not sure of. Anyway, we got the tires fixed, uh, rolled out, yep. and made it over to, it's what? 31st. Oh, Friday the 31st of July. Anyway, we rolled out and got to Sheboygan, Wisconsin yesterday afternoon. And we've got three stops on here. The first stop unloaded us that afternoon so they wouldn't have to do it this morning, which is great for me. So I'm at my second stop about two hours earlier than I should have been, and they're unloading me now. We are in the middle of the street, jackknifed across the road into the itty bitty dock back there. It's not even really a dock. It's just a couple of doors that open off the side of the building. And they've got a ramp run down to the trailer. And as you can see. But we're gonna get unloaded here and then off to Appleton, Wisconsin, which is up the road. Not sure how far up the road, but it's up the road. I was just getting ready to plan it, but we're gonna do that and then we'll see where it goes from there. I would imagine if I had to guess, we'd be going back to Middleville to grab another load to go somewhere and delivers Monday. But for now, me and the kiddo over there on his phone, not saying nothing until mm. when I'm trying to wake up in the morning and then he's like, blah, 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 and I'm like, dude, no coffee yet, hang on. Anyway, me, the kiddo, Big Al, out for now. All right, what's up guys? We are, uh, we finished getting loaded at our constantine, our final stop there in Appleton, Wisconsin. And we are dead heading back over to uh, Middleville, Michigan. It's about 400 mile run. I got about 360 left to do today to get there. Um, try and get there, get my load get down a little farther, but I don't know if I'll have time because I had to start the clock early this morning. But, uh, <laughs> from there, we have got a load assignment. Four stops. Uh, in Silver Stream, Maryland. Silver Spring, not Stream. That's just silly. That's see what I did there, Silly Stream. Um, <laughs> we, uh, so yes, first stop, Silver Spring, Maryland, that's just above DC. Then a couple stops in Philly, and the final stop in, let's see if I say that right, Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. I'm not sure if that's right or not, but that's the way it's spelled. So that's the way I pronounced it. But uh, this may or may not be the last video for this week. I may start a fresh video uh, when we get over there and get our load. This one's probably gonna be long enough for a uh, the footage I have now, but I'll be long enough for the videos, but uh, that's, I don't even know what I'm talking about that, y'all don't care about that. Anyway, uh, try to get some more footage. I had a little bit of time over the weekend to get down there. It's about a 700 mile run, or eh, six something, down to the first stop, so we'll knock some of that off tomorrow, or most of it off tomorrow. Anyway, that is the update. Be sure you like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. Oh, I guess you can see Big Al looking out the window there. Big Al, in case y'all didn't know, is the mascot for Alabama. I've had that guy, I don't know, probably going on 15 years or so. He's traveled the country with me when I was touring. Just ride over the national. Go from state to state, do shows with me. Got him out on the truck with me this week, along with us thing over here. But, uh, that's your update for now. Like, subscribe, share. Got any questions, feel free to ask. And got anything you particularly want to see, let me know. We will see you soon. Later. Oh, that looks weird. What's up, people? It is Saturday morning. I'm not real sure what time it is, about 10.30, I guess. We're in, uh, we're at a rest area here just outside of Jackson, Michigan. 
Picked up this trailer pretty late last night. Parked about 11 o'clock. Uh, parked at a, an abandoned Kmart. Uh, they were resurfacing the parking lot. So I got a phone call from dispatch this morning. Hey, have they woke you up yet? <laughs> I'm like, it's Saturday. Is who woke me up yet? Yeah, apparently I parked in the wrong spot and I was in their way. No big deal. They were cool about it. Let me move over uh, to a spot they had already done to, to finish up my 10-hour break. Anyway, we got this little trailer. We're headed to uh, Silver Spring, Maryland. Two stops in Philadelphia and one in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. But uh, we're going to get on down the road and uh, see what we get. Take care. See you guys soon. Wow, look at those bags under my eyes. I didn't get much sleep or I got woke up too early. I'm good though. See you soon. stop in Silver Spring, Maryland. We came in from that way. As you can tell, it's kind of a narrow road. We've got to be down this road. You see all the cars there. And there's a dock right there. Um, yeah, I'll give you an idea how narrow the road is. I'm about to get run over. But uh, if you go down there, it's a dead end. I managed to get turned around. I can see that. Let's see. Yeah, it's dead end down there. I went over in this gravel lot over here, looped around those cones. And took every bit of the road and and then then some to get turned around so I could because there's not room to turn around on this road down here you know even without the cars otherwise I'd have to blindside into that spot or into the dock real sure where I left off but there's all these cars here I got to back into this dock it said overnight parking in the dock. Well, their truck is in the dock. <laughs> so, on the bright side, they've only got like 10 pieces coming off, so maybe I'll just back down here and maybe they'll just take it off the back of the truck. I don't know, we'll see. But that's the update for now. Oh, we're only like 10 miles from DC, so. I think I might grab an Uber over to the uh, World War II Memorial. My granddad's name is on there, and I think it'd be cool to see, so I may take advantage of that. 
Anywho, that's the update for now. See you guys soon. So, uh, my stop, my first stop was only about, uh, I don't know, eight miles away or so. So I thought, what a good opportunity to take the kiddo with me and bring him down to check out Washington, D.C. Look at that thing. That's cool. If we turn around this way, the reflecting pool and the Lincoln Memorial, which we're on our way to now. And we turn back around this way where we were to begin with, the World War II Memorial, which I really wanted to see. Very cool. Let's see you guys soon. What's up guys? Uh, we just got finished with stop one. It was a bit tricky. Now we're trying to get out of here and uh, make our way up to Philly. We've got two stops in Philly. As you can see, big owls chilling in the window, helping me watch traffic. Had my son with me, he's still with me. Had him looking for traffic, but he's always looking at the phone, so he's like, can't for traffic like that. <laughs> yeah, so we got here early, so we uh, took an Uber, went over to DC, that was pretty cool. I'll put some pictures somewhere in here. That's our day for now. We're just trying to get out of uh, get out of here, make our way up to Philly. But we'll check back in with you soon. See you later. Bye bye. second stop first stop here in Philly and uh, just want to do a quick video show you how tight some of this stuff is down through here and I've got to make a right right here which is an ugly ugly right light is green I think the car might be in my way but we should see move for me. That was awfully nice of them. In one mile, turn left on I-76 West. And we made it around without curbing anything. So, big old mural of Will Smith on the left there. West Philadelphia, born and raised. On the playgrounds where he spent most of his days. Apparently, got in a fight. Mom got mad. Sent him to live with his aunt in Bel Air or something. Do not like driving in Philly, but could be worse. At least it's not Brooklyn or something. We'll ignore that. Even my truck don't like Philly, it just went. <laughs> All right, we're headed over to the second stop. The first stop only had 10 water heaters. This second stop had 12. Next one's got a few, so it might take a minute. Might even take a minute to get there. But uh, I'm going to kill this video now. It's about two minutes long. So this was just to give you an idea of what it's like driving in Philly. That's your update for now. We will see you soon. Later. All right, so we finally got those four stops off. And now we are at our Baltimore yard. getting ready to load up a tractor a backhoe that is going to 
I can't pronounce it. Starts with a Z, Zelen, Zelenopole, Pennsylvania. I got this GoPro. It was a bundle. I got this neat little head strap on it, so I thought it'd be neat to to see how it worked or to you know just for a different view and i think this is our tractor it's gonna be kind of high to put that in there uh, let's see here if i can find my serial number there you go hta 24 500 this is it so let's see if we can get in here figure out how to get this thing going oh. <clears throat> got wipers in there this is pretty looks pretty fancy all right be right back all right so we're in this thing we've got it uh i think we've got it figured out now on how to get out of here it's gotta each one of these things drive different guys here could be going a little faster than this but uh, I've only got it in second <laughs> kids in the in the uh, tractor there and trailer rather videoing I don't know why he because he's a kid I guess let's see he needs to come out of there before I get in there. Is this going to hit? Is that going to hit? Is that going to hit? All right, I'm going to stop this video now because I got to move the boom arm around and get it down. I'll come back to you. All right. We got her loaded up. Got her strapped in. And get these doors closed. Show you what we got. It'll be white trailer. Big New Holland. Backhoe. Full wheel drive fancy tractor. Oh, big puddle. Ah, oh, man. Just splashed myself. Look at that thing. See if I can get around it this time. Oh, locks. All right, night-night tractor. Ah, I forgot a seal. 
I'm go up here and see if I can get my son to hand me a seal. I think we're gonna end up staying here tonight. Uh, I've only got about three hours left on my clock, if that. And it's rush, you know, rush hour in Baltimore. So I don't know if we have time to get anywhere. I know those seals. Just hand me the whole all of them. Thank you. Alright, 502 7755. There's one of our seven axle guys over there. I don't know who that is in the red truck. I guess we've got a visitor. There's our seven axles over there and Man, it's raining and getting nasty out here. But, uh, yeah, so I guess that is gonna be the update. I'm gonna swing around, find somewhere to park this thing for the night, I guess. Unless I change my mind. Otherwise, oh, there's my reflection. Hey, what's up? I look ridiculous, right? Yeah, I do. All right, there's your update for now. And we will see you soon. Pace trailer, so we just dropped that off here and just south of Grand Rapids at Byron Center. Dropped off a lease trailer. Yeah, I said that already. Uh, now we're headed over to Middleville to Bradford White. 
I'm gonna grab another trailer, a loaded trailer. And uh, if you hear beats in the background, that's Gregory over here. Rocking beats with his mouth, I guess. I don't know. It's really annoying. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to grab another trailer and take it over to Dexter, Michigan and meet another guy that is going to take that load. And so that's what we are doing right now. Bobtailing. It's a bit bouncy and bumpy. little bobtail. And there's a car in front of me sitting in the middle of the intersection at a red light. Anyway, that's the update for now. Check back in later. myself and I. If you're watching Scott, sorry about that. that must have been about that sucked. <laughs> so I was just trying to keep it from busting my lip or my eye or whatever. Anyway, that's the update for now. So we'll catch you guys soon. Ladies and gents, goodbye. Alright, fellas, ladies and gents, we are uh, in Dexter, Michigan. We just swapped trailers with Jody and uh, we now know what we're doing. We're gonna take uh, this empty back up to Middleville, Michigan, Bradford White. And then we're gonna grab a loaded trailer and take it. It's got three stops on it in Georgia, but we are taking it to Ashland City to the yard, which means we're going on home time. How do you feel about that? Feels good. He feels good. And then a song, I feel good. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> James Brown. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna drop that on the yard. It don't deliver till Monday. I don't know if I'll be taking it or somebody else will be taking it, but that's what we're doing. I'll bet you later. See ya, bye. If I figure out turn it off. Let's go. Well, we did not make it as far as I wanted to. Had about 30 minutes left on my clock. I could have made it a little farther, but uh, not much past here. So we ended up stopping here in Battle Creek, Michigan at Pilot. Probably should have hit TA, but we mainly use pilots and stuff. So figured we could get showers, but this place is kind of a tiny little joint. Parking kind of sucked there, Gregory. Parking could be tied in here, but doable. 
pretty cool little sunset happening over there. Oh, it looks kind of goofy in the camera. I need to set some settings. I need to adjust some settings on this GoPro. I hadn't quite got it set up yet. There's some trees. But we're going to bunk down here for the night and then get up in the morning and head to Ashland City to the home yard and go on home time for a couple of days. That one will be going back to school. Mm. And he's super excited. Nope. <laughs> Alright, that's update for now. Check back in with you guys later. See ya. time for a couple days and that'll uh that'll end this week or this couple of weeks escapades with that said be sure you like subscribe share and all that good stuff uh, you guys have a good one we'll see you next time peace out